The Minnesota Vikings take to the road over 500. Doesn't matter how they got there, right? We have points in Las Vegas. A 3-0 lead. Might need a few more than three points this week. They play the Bengals, who don't seem to have a problem scoring regardless of who their quarterback is. Browning fakes a handoff, rolls Go. left, his pass, caught at the 11. Get it. Sample, touchdown! Joe who again? No, no, no one's forgotten. But what if Cincinnati accidentally drafted another franchise quarterback and didn't know it? You can play in the league 10, 12 years and not have a night like he's had tonight. This is pretty amazing. Jake Browning goes for 354 yards the week before last, follows it with 275, two touchdowns, a rating over 120, 110 plus rate in back-to-back -back games. And how about this? Zero sacks taken to a team ranked top three in sacks. He didn't play like a rookie. He played like Joe Burrow out there. Browning mixed it up week to week, too. Versus Jacksonville, it was boatloads of Jamar Chase. Then versus the Colts, he spreads it to everyone. Completes passes to nine guys. Nobody had five targets. Dude went 32 for 37 and then 18 for 24. Jake Browning shines in prime time. Joe Mixon has been key to their two-game win streak as well. Scored a rushing TD 79 yards last week. Hauled in three catches, 46 yards. Four straight games with a touchdown for Joe Mixon. But how well does Browning dance when the ballroom blitz comes on? That's Minnesota's defensive MO. Still first in the league on that front. Browning versus five plus. How about three touchdowns, no picks, rating near 130. He does not have a large body of work, of course. And now he takes on a defense that hasn't allowed a touchdown in two straight games. Few have escaped from Daniil Hunter this year. His 12th sack of the season. I don't care who you're playing, it's hard to win 3-0. to zero. Vikings defense comes in off a shutout. Can't ask much more from them on that side of the ball. O'Connell in trouble and down he goes! Held Aiden O'Connell to 171 yards passing, 5.3 per attempt. No touchdowns, a pick, a rating in the mid-60s. Sacked him four times and their king QB hunter didn't even rack him once. Yes! Vikings ball! Minnesota took the ball away three times as well, held the Vegas run game in check. So offense, how about a little help? Vikings have scored just one touchdown in their last nine quarters of play. Big time play on third down, that's what you do. Joshua Dobbs versus the Raiders, 63 yards, 2.7 yards per attempt, five sacks taken. Kevin O'Connell said, if I have to make a change, I'm going to make the change while the game is still winnable. Yep. So to the bench he went, and in came Nick Mullins, who led them on their game-winning field goal drive, 9 of 13, 83 yards. Justin Jefferson returned, then left again hurt, so have to track his status again. Whoever leads Minnesota's passing attack has to deal with Trey Hendrickson. He sacks him, and that should be Coffin Nail. Bam, bam, bam. Every week with this guy, Two more sacks week 14, 13 and a half now for the season. Bengals DBs fed off that heat, held Gardner Minshew in check, 81.1 rating, only one TD, they picked him off. Oh, what a play! Minnesota has been a five and two record. Cincinnati, four and three at home so far. It's a vital game for both teams with the season starting to shrink. People are starting to pile on the Browning bandwagon. Has to be some Skull faithful willing to explain in the comments section how the Vikings could take this one though. Let's see if any of our panel of 10 think they can do it.